So Fiverr is, uh, is the platform part of a project, uh, a public-private partnership uh, set up by the European Union and many of the large uh, uh, companies, uh, IT companies in, in Europe to create the, the platform for the future of Internet. Uh, um, we think that the next uh, 10 years is going to be another wave of innovation uh, uh, around the Internet, especially everything has to do with uh, uh, connected things and the Internet of Things. And we've decided to create a platform that is completely open, uh, completely standardized, and that uh, will enable people to develop uh, Internet of Things applications in a number of industries without having to go through all the burden of setting up their own platform, their own storage, their own cloud platform, uh, etc. So I wait. So Fiverr is uh, basically a, a way to try to create uh, an ecosystem in Europe that is based around standards, around openness, um, and that will foster, uh, you know, applications on the Internet of Things. Therefore, it is both for you know small startups and entrepreneurs that want to set up a business um, in Europe and that want to develop something for that will work across Europe in many different uh, you know cities, environments, governments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's also towards large companies that uh, you know see an opportunity to standardize around a platform that has all the main components to build future internet applications like cloud computing, uh, big data, internet. Internet of Things, etc. The, the main uh, competitive advantage for Fiverr is that um, it's, uh, it's open, it's completely open. Uh, so there's no proprietary APIs. Once you've developed for Fiverr for one specific instance, you can go develop for any other. Um, it's a standard, so the European Union and the, the large European ICT companies are behind it. So, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to proliferate in a number of uh, scenarios and, and places across Europe. And, uh, and it has attached a number of programs like uh, the File Lab and, uh, and the Startup uh, Investment Program that the European Union is setting up that will give incentives to companies that want to develop um, these applications. Once you've developed for one instance of Fiverr, let's say you've done a smart city pro project in Spain, then you can take the same uh, application and service and deploy it across a number of other places where the same platform will be deployed. So FileLab is, File is the experimental part of Fiverr, if you want. So it's basically, as I said, Fiverr is a, is a platform we've developed uh, among a number of uh, companies in Europe to, to create this platform for the future of Internet applications. And FileLab is where you can actually go and experiment um, with this platform. Uh, it's uh, you know, geared towards developers uh, and startups that want to try the platform, want to experiment with it. There's also a number of uh, prices around people, uh, you know, doing activities uh, and development on, on the platform. And the idea is that you can try the platform with a very low friction and low effort, and then you can decide whether you want to set up a commercial application based on it. I think um, open data uh, is one of the most important topics for a lot of institutions, public administrations and even corporations because it's a concept that allows you to basically open up uh, some of the data you've collected, uh, let's say from citizens in the case of, uh, of public administrations, and then putting it out there in the open through you know, interfaces where other people can then go and develop applications. So it will give you two things basically. One is transparency towards your citizens because they will know that you know, the data you're holding is not you know, it's being used uh, uh, by everyone, not just by themselves. And the second, it will actually provide additional value and additional services built on top of this data once it may, is made available in an open way to the, to the developers and the startup community. I think the reason why the European Union uh, is betting so heavily uh, on, on Fiverr is because they've recognized that the last 10 years Europe um, has somehow lost the leadership it had uh, in the internet industry in, in the past and they've decided to rather than you know, look at the past, look at the future, and decided to build a platform that is what is going to enable future internet applications for the next 10 years. Um, the, the other big bet is that this is done with all uh, standards, uh, open uh, platforms, so it's not proprietary, uh, therefore anyone can use it, and is heavily supported and financed by large ICT companies in Europe and the European Union as well. And the main idea is to try to set up a European-based ecosystem around this platform for future internet applications.